What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Modern Warfare Operation Guide. Today we're going to show you how to unlock my precious himself. We're going to show you how to unlock Gollum, who's one of the characters you can use in Modern Warfare multiplayer and also you can use them in co-op mode as well. So obviously the guide today is Operation Kulvada. Um, so it's probably one of the easiest um, operations to do. But anyway, we're going to show you a quick strategy guide on how you can complete this nice and easy. So as always, we recommend you playing this with four people. Everyone should have a mic, otherwise it's going to make things very difficult for you to complete this. Uh, communication is always key in missions. The next thing you all need to do is change your role to medic. Everyone needs to be a medic. The other kind of classes are okay, but they're not as useful as picking up your down teammates when they're nowhere near you. So everyone should have medic on. The next thing you all need to do is make sure you have a shield. Now you can choose one of the default loadouts that have a shield on it, or you can customize your own uh, loadout and pop a shield on depending on what your rank is on multiplayer. But if you're not that high level and you still want to complete these, then you have the choice of using the default um, loadout. So with this mission, I've seen people approach it in different ways. I've seen it when I first started, people trying to do it stealthily. Now you can do this stealthily uh, to an extent, However, there's quite a few parts where you're going to need to have big meaty guns and not guns with suppressors on it. So I highly recommend not doing it stealthy and I'll explain why. So the first thing you need to do for this operation is you need to drive to the data center. Now a lot of people make the mistake of going right where you actually need to go left. Now it looks like a much longer route but it's not actually, it'll get you to the heart of the data center rather than having to go through lots of enemies trying to be stealthy or even if you're going in gun blazing, it's the wrong way to go. So go left and um, once you drive down this little kind of motorway for a while, you can then turn right. You basically drive right through uh, this kind of camp um, and you drive through it, back out of it again and turn right and you can actually, you can either park next to the data center or you can do what I do and just drive the fuck right through the place and straight into the data center. Now, the only thing about doing it that way, driving right to it, is there is a juggernaut waiting for you. He's not very happy. He does shoot a lot of bullets. So just watch out for that. So you can do it either way at that stage. You can drive right into the data center or you can park just outside. This part is optional. Um, make sure you've got your shield ready because as I say, that juggernaut is angry. So all you need to do is put one person in a data room um, to start the data breach. And again, with the shield, you just plant yourself in there. You can camp in there. What you want to do is get the other three members to just rain fire on this juggernaut. Take him out nice and quickly. What I highly recommend doing before you do start going to the next parts of this operation is reloading. Make sure you've got all your ammo crates. Now, for this particular one, um, it's very handy to have certain munitions. Now, it's not a, a must, however, it is useful to have things like a sentry gun to help you at the next step or even a turret. The turrets are quite shit, so a sentry gun would be better in this as you don't need to operate it. Um, another good thing would be any of the missiles. Don't use too many of them right now though, um, as you'll need them for later on in this guide. Um, the main things you will need is ammunition um, and sentry guns in terms of your munitions to help you out in this guide. So once you have waited and hacked the data server, there will be three locations you need to go to. Each location has a similar objective. What you need to do is go into the computer. Once you're on the computer, you need to scroll down to what is called manifest. Don't search through all the files. They've not got shit on it. You just need to go to manifest nice and quickly. Um, now you can either wait on the computer or you can jump off. It will still search it itself. Then on the screen, it will come up a certain code and also um, it will shout in audio as well. A female operator will shout this on your audio um, of what crates to search. Now in each of these three locations, there will be three crates with that um, code that they have read out. So the code, say for instance, you're at 
the, the barracks and the codes 1A, you need to look for three codes in the barracks with 1A. You need to look for three crates in the barracks with 1A. Um, once you've got all those, you can make your way to the next one. I highly recommend you guys staying together. Now again, the good thing about having Medic, if one of you goes down, I highly recommend waiting until you've got two people down and not just wasting your Medic. If someone's close to you, just pick them up normally. Medic, the Medic speciality where you can uh, revive your down teammates when they're nowhere near you is really useful as a kind of last chance saloon. If you're the last man left and you feel like, oh, this could be a a mission fail, then you click it and that way the team will revive themselves. Now, as I say, um, once you've done all one of the objectives, you'll need to do the exact same thing with the other objectives. Um, so again, you'll have another code, look for manifest again, uh, stay there with your shields camp if you have to, um, and in each location, as I say, there'll be three crates um, with the code that you're looking for. Um, and all you need to do is place a little beacon on each crate. Again, the good thing about having a shield on your back is while you're planting these uh, beacons, your shield will be taking the damage and not yourself. So it's quite useful to have a sentry gun placed while you're looking for these crates because a lot of guys are going to come in to try and stop you placing the beacons down. Um, so pop a little sentry gun in there if you can um, and that way it will take off some of the fire while you're looking for these beacons. Once you have completed all three objectives, so for example, placed nine beacons on nine crates, the next part is a little bit more difficult. Now I know I'm saying this as if it's really easy. It is uh, difficult, but in terms of the strategy, the strategy is easy, um, but you just need to make sure you hit your shots and you're rotating, sticking as a team. Don't do anything mad and run about on your own. Make sure you're sticking together as a team so you can revive each other, etc. Now, there is going to be helicopters as well flying about. Make sure you focus your fire on those, um, otherwise you will literally get destroyed. Uh, the helicopters uh, shooting down on you, they'll shoot you with fucking everything. So really just focus your fire on them as soon as they come out. And again, stick together as a team, fire the helicopters, fire the juggernauts together. And if you're getting overcrowded um, and your guys start dying, etc., go in a corner with your riot shield, um, take all... Uh, the bullets are your shield um, and then if, as I say if your team have died you can literally be that guy that lets the rest of them spawn in so make sure you find a really acute 90 degree angle corner and that way you can literally camp in there um, make sure you're prone slightly um, so it's covering your feet um, and you won't take any damage at all um, and as I say you can do that if any of your team does die, it lets them spawn back in and then you can regroup again. Um, that's what we had to do a few times. Um, if a few guys die, as long as you've not failed the full mission, as long as the full team haven't died, that's fine. Um, you can regroup. Um, I know there's obviously different skill gaps of players, so um, this is quite useful if you're not so great at the game, um, but still want to complete uh, this operation. So as I say, the next part here, you will need to go to the control tower, stick together again. And uh, now there is going to be a tank here. So this is where you'd use your munitions. So for example, use your air strikes, your precision strikes, your cluster strikes. Um, if you've managed to unlock the juggernaut suit, um, just fucking fire all you can at these tanks. Um, I believe there's a couple, so take them out. There's a few helicopters as well. Again, if you've went uh, one of the default classes with the shield, you'll have a big uh, light machine gun anyway, so uh, putting a few clips into um, a helicopter or a tank should take a lot of damage um, off it anyway, so that should do the trick. Um, now that's pretty much it. You then just kind of make your way to the extraction point. There's a few more enemies that you can just pick off uh, casually, to be honest. There's no more real strategy after that. Um, the mission, as I say, this is the most easy um, one you're going to do. The rest are quite difficult. Um, but once you've taken care of the tanks and the helicopters, you basically just make your way to the helicopter, the rescue helicopter, which will pick you up. As I say, there's quite a lot of uh, enemy helicopters that will try to stop you. As I say, just spray those helicopters away with your light machine gun, with a couple teammates firing at one helicopter, it should do the trick pretty quickly. 
and as you see it's a nice stroll toward the LZ to complete the mission. Make sure you're not sitting right underneath where it's going to land, otherwise that's not smart. As you can see, my teammate thought it'd be quite nice to headbutt a helicopter and that didn't really work out for him. But yeah, just uh, look left and right when you are going to the LZ because there is a few enemies that we do pop out. For whatever reason, they glitched um, on this particular occasion and they just sat in their cars. Um, so I did them a favour and just uh, killed them, uh, which is good for them. But you guys, very easy um, mission if you stick together and follow these nice simple strats. If you don't follow these strats, this mission can be just impossible to do. It can be very difficult, but using these strats should help you a lot. And there we go, mission complete. And you have my precious the Golem. Now guys, I do have other guys as well for Modern Warfare, so you want to check them out, they'll be on the channel as well. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if this video helped you, and also subscribe for more Modern Warfare content. And thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.